G'day guys, Nick, Wes, here from MTX Productions, and today we're going to show you how to put in front drop boxes. It's going to be mad. Bad. Yep. Righto, so, well, what is a drop box? Uh, a drop box is basically a spacer that spaces your front control arms downwards from, uh, from where they used to be. You only actually need one of these if you've got a medium to large size lift, so we're talking 4 inches to, to 8 inches or more of suspension lift. Um, the ones that we've got here today are Superior Engineering ones. You can pick them up from their website, superiorengineering.com.au, for about 400 bucks. These are the bolt-in type ones, so instead of having to weld them onto your chassis, you actually bolt them through, and this box here replaces where the old control arm mount would go. Right, so here's the stuff you're going to need to do the job. To start off with, you're going to need at least two jacks. It's probably recommended to have three, but we got away with two. Um, some bricks to chock the wheels, which aren't pictured here. I'm sure you can find them yourselves. Uh, socket set, half inch drive is probably preferable because a lot of the nuts are going to be tight. A um, couple of spanners, now this is important, uh, a deep 24 socket because you're going to need that to get your uh, your front control arm off of the car. Uh, breaker bar, rattle gun for any stubborn bolts, uh, pliers to get the, the mousing wire or the, the split pin out of your steering um, arm. Uh, a hammer, we don't have one so in, in typical uh, in mods fashion, we use the back of an axe. Uh, WD-40, some silicon spray. This will just help get the um, the rubber bushings back in for your control arm when you take them out. Uh, and this is optional. You may need an angle grinder uh, to, to grind in and actually cut out some of your chassis. And if you're going to be doing that, naturally you're going to need some paint to cover it back up again to stop it from rusting. Start by chocking all four wheels of the car to make sure that it doesn't move while you're working on it. Next, jack up the car off the point where the control arm mounts to the chassis. Next, place the axle stand further back from the jack in a safe place where it won't slip out. Place another jack under your front axle and take off the tyre like you're changing it for a spare. Next, you'll need to take out one of your front coil springs. To do this, we we'll use a set of heavy duty coil spring compressors which can be bought off eBay for about 25 bucks. Keep jacking the springs down until they're short enough to be taken out by hand. Matt? Matt! Lower down the end of the axle that you're working on using a jack until it reaches the end of the shock absorber. Then start removing the two bolts that hold the control arm on. Use the deep 24mm socket to remove the control arm nuts in the chassis. Then remove the bushings, making note of the order that they came off in. You may need to remove your steering arm first but once that's free, you should be able to drop the control arm straight out. Remove the chassis jack and place it under the transmission cross member. Position the jack to take the weight so it's balanced. Then loosen off the cross member bolts on both sides, removing the ones on the side that you're working on. Righto, so there's actually three more bolts you need to undo to take this off. There's one up the top here that I've just undone, there's one over here, on the far side and there's one here so the two far ones have got these nuts welded onto the underside and they're just a 12 mm bolt that comes out from the top once all the bolts are removed carefully lower the cross member about 25 mm to allow the drop box to be fitted righto so you should just be able to slide the drop box straight on in like this seat it in as far back as it'll go Push the bus in from behind until it fits where the old control arm end was. For some types of drop boxes, you'll need to mark and cut out a square on your chassis so the drop box sits all the way back. If you do need to do this, please make sure to wear the correct safety gear when using an angle grinder. Tighten the cross member bolts back up again on the side you're working on. Put the control arm back in and fit the bushes in the same order that they came out. Using silicon spray helps to get them to fit back in. Fit and tighten the two bolts that hold the control arm onto the axle, then fit the steering arm back onto the swivel hub, making sure to fit the split pin or wire through the bolt for safety. Then fit your spring, ensuring it sits properly in the holders and refit the tyre. Repeat for the opposite side to complete the install.
I'm Nick from MTX Productions. Thanks for watching.